Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for the Sagittarius sign. You have the High Priestess. Let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know, Sagittarius. What is the message for the Sagittarius sign, please? We will pick up love, career, money, and general inspiration ship, okay? I am channeling the next 30 days, Sagittarius, Six of Pentacles in here. This is an open message for you, so I do want you to think about your situation, your focus. Oh, Three of Swords. Why do you have the Three of Swords? Hmm, the Tower card. <clears throat> something is there's a shake like there's an there's a shake off when it comes to your expenses money something is going down the hermit card is here <clears throat> you've got the world card sagittarius okay the eight of swords is here the ten of cups the magician card and so we start your reading you're starting the reading Sagittarius with a strong strong it's like it feels like this it feels like inertia you know it feels like the universe is going to surprise you and release a very stagnant old ways of thinking vibe um it could also be like um it's a huge wake-up call for you okay it's connected to it's connected to money for some of you guys it could be connected to health okay um so let me just stay okay let me just you know download this something I'm hearing the word more ways than one. Okay, let's see. The Queen of Wands. You are the Queen of Wands. I'm glad I pulled the, the Queen of Wands. You know, if you've been my subscribers for a very long time, the Sagittarius, when it comes to Sagittarius, you know, I'm confident whenever I pulled the Queen of Wands. So there is going to be a groundbreaking moment in the next 30 days where it's going to shake off a foundation that is very weak okay it has gone weak okay it could be an area of your money how you spend how you receive money where is your money going it could also be connected to um where do you put your time how do you allocate your time and energy and it could be resources and money on a day-to-day -day basis okay um for some of you it could be it could be help as well okay but it's something it's not something scary it's something preventative okay um something something is coming in something a full force is coming in and it will wake you up and shake you up sagittarius you will act okay i'm um, really it could be an eclipse the, the incoming the next eclipse okay because we just we have the full moon eclipse you know we have the solar eclipse coming soon so <clears throat> the six of pentacles the queen of wands it's gonna wake you up and shake you up it's a huge wake-up call and it's connected to money stability a daily routine where you're spending time money resources how you're receiving it something is not working something is complacent not working or it's old it's like the universe has to, the universe has the divine the universe a strong force of change will come in to challenge you Sagittarius to challenge you to pinch you a little bit that it will send you a jolt of for some of you you will be startled okay it will shock you 
you might overthink, but you, I'm seeing you pull yourself together and defend it. Eventually, you're going to let it go. And eventually, you will come out stronger with a new form of ways of thinking, ways of how you're going to keep it going, ways how to, I, I, don't, I don't think it's about survival, how you rise from this challenge, okay? It is, it's, it's, it's something strong. It's, it's going to wake you up and shake you up. You will overthink or you will fear, but eventually you'll tap in your queen of wands energy and you're going to face it head on. Okay. It's connected to how you spend your money, how you receive your money. It's a feeling of enough is enough. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to pull myself together, take my power back. And I'm going to take care of this. Enough is enough. I want to be rich. I want to be productive. I want to be what I want to be. And I'm going to remove this, you know, challenge. Or I'm going to accept the challenge and clean up the mess I made. Or clean up something that's not working in my life. I'm a queen of wands. I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. For some of you, I'm seeing your, your reaction with the queen of wands. Looking at the three of swords, the tower card. Like before it goes down, you catch it, okay? And you rise and you build it in a quick turnaround of time. I'm seeing you react, okay? Amazing, okay? Your quick reaction and no fear. I would say you're startled. There's a little bit of fear. There is fear, but then you're going to, you know, dismiss no fear. I'm going to face it and rise and build something out of this, you know, something that shakes you up for some of you it's connect for some of you it's connected to like someone or something's going to happen it's going to challenge your business okay it's going to challenge your business it's going to challenge your money it's going to challenge your day to day something day to day it's going to challenge your health for some of you but when you look into it you know with the intimidating three of swords and the tower card when you look into it you see potential or at least this is the advice to you. If there is a collapse or if something is being taken away from you or being shaken up in your life in the next 30 days, there is an opportunity building up there. So it's normal to, to kind of be scared, but you will dismiss that because you are the queen of wands and you will be no fear. You will rise above this shake up. For some of you, you have business, money, productivity, something of a day-to-day. -day. Also, for some of you, it could be connected to health. Like you're going to be called, but there's something connected to health, not really scary, scary health, but you will take action. The good thing about you is that you're not intimidated with the problem. You will intimidate the problem. You're not intimidated with the problem. You're not. You will face it. You might be weakened for a good, you know, uh, one day, but the next day you will have a plan and you will react. You will have a plan and I'm seeing like you will break it off. You will break it off the problem and they like in little crumbs. You will break it off the problem into little crumbs and then from breaking it up, you would see a solution and you would have a plan okay so yeah they won't be able to intimidate you they just made you more stronger more healthier more richer in here yeah look at that see if you don't believe me believe the empress card so you will rise like an empress look at that from the queen of wands to the empress card the very thing that is challenging you is the very thing that would make you rise like an empress an empress she does not worry about money. She close her eyes and swipe and buy what she wants. She travels. She has a lot of savings. Or she knows that her money, her stability, her finances is all safe and secure. Her future is as beautiful as her. Okay? Or you know how I'm telling you about um, health. If you are an avid tarot um, viewer, you know, with me or other channel, you know, the Empress card also speaks about vitality. So whatever you will find out in terms of, I don't know, fertility or vitality, 
you won't be intimidated by the problem because you believe in magic and miracles. You will cure, find a cure. Or you will search for something to improve, something connected to health and wellness. And voila, look at that, an Empress card. You are as beautiful, as fit, as amazing as you are. Sagittarius, you will intimidate your problem. I'm telling you right now, you will intimidate your problem. Yeah. You know, the Queen of Wands. Okay. Now the second part of the reading. Um... What else is coming towards you in the next 30 days? You know, between this end of September, so I'm channeling October, November. There's a Hermit card. There's a World card. There's a Four of Wands. You move on from this person or situation. The Hermit card, this is a person or a situation or it could be a project, an interest. You move on from them. <clears throat> the reason why I'm telling you that you have moved on from the Hermit card it's because it's been so long so by the time this offer person situation or invitation comes through you probably have gotten over it or probably not interested with it like no hard feelings i'm not interested with you took you so long the world card this is like full cycle so it could be in february it could be in april it could be a year from now to be honest with you sagittarius my readings psychically intuitively i know all of my readings okay january to march the videos that i have uploaded from january to march no longer going to resonate it has already taken place april if you watch my video around the time of april that some of the april reading it is strongly having an impact or it is manifesting and resonating it's happening now why i think sometime around march and april there was an eclipse and the second part of that eclipse is happening right now so if you have time look into it i don't have time i normally upload or rewind video the the current month because I, ch I channel you know the next 30 to 60 days but this could be part of that eclipse too you know, it could be around April to this person. Okay. Um, yeah. Look into the April month. Um, it's, it's, I could feel one of the videos is a continuation of this hermit card for some of you. Not all of you will resonate, but there's something around the month of April. Now, the hermit card will show up. Could be a person, could be an idea, could be a project, could be an invitation. March, April. Okay. March, April. Um, oh, it, it looks like a GM. It looks like a person who is in a higher position, a GM. I don't know. This person is quite well known, strong, but slow. Or they have a, it could also be like an idea, an interest. Um, but I could feel that you're not, you don't mind. Like you, I don't mind you, you know, you move on, I move on, but they're, they're coming back. So, and you don't mind entertaining it. Sagittarius with the four of wands. Ooh, king of cups. I'm hearing the word Sagittarius. My dear Sagittarius, I'm here for an, for an apology. So they're coming sweet. So this person or situation, they're aware that they've been hiding or like they're, they're very aware of, you know, stepping back or disconnecting with you. They're coming very sweet and apologetic and very charming. I would say their offer is a Ten of Cups. If you do, let them in. Sagittarius yeah hmm. there is a reason why they're returning I could hear the word it looks like they can make you happy they can give you a big compromise in here could be a boss could be a manager could be a lover could be a family member but they can make you happy look at that the, ten of, the outcome is a ten of cups and the magician card so this situation or person is somehow inviting you to listen to them because they've got a big offer, a big news, something that will make you happy. Um, I get the feeling that it's okay. Talk, you know, like something 
cold with how you receive it or reception but you you will you will listen you will do connect because it's a justice card yeah this is something that you can bargain if this is like a job offer this is something that you can ask more Sagittarius this is like you are in the upper hand in here Sagittarius look at that number four again this is something about April there's something about April April video continuation of this uh, two of cups yeah so they're returning because they can offer you something that will make you happy something that will match what you want from them i believe in the past it was something that they could give but they wouldn't because they're allocating it to another person or to another energy but now this is dedicated to you specially they wouldn't return in your life if they cannot offer you a match so this is like a perfect match in here i get the feeling that you're cool about it like i get the feeling that you're i don't know it could be you're warming up because i'm seeing an image of an engine you know when you turn on the car it's not like it's warming up it's like you're warming up to this idea it's like i'm gonna give you a million dollar and your reaction is okay great and then it's synced and then oh wow okay so I'm getting that reaction from you. Um, I would say you're not intimidated. <laughs> Sagittarius, this is surprise. Yeah, see? Not even surprise. But look, Sagittarius, this is a very interesting... There's an interesting discussion with you and this person. I don't think you're going to miss this opportunity or at least listen to them. Um, it's very... It's like an empowered version an empowered version of the offer powerful offer i would say um this is your reading thank you so much beautiful sagittarius thank you so much for your support if you would like to further connect with me sagittarius click the bell and click the subscribe button my next upload would be in the sagittarius ascending it will be a love reading okay and i will see you soon um you take care and um, have a great day. Click the subscribe button, okay? Bye, Sagittarius.